Greetings. Welcome to reality. Welcome to the astrological reality of our people, the African peoples, the first people on planet Earth. Now mind you, it would be good and welcoming for you to tap in to our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it. Touch the bell, do what you need to do, but have it flowing because there's a lot more to come. Of course, I am your host, Majesty. And now, let's give you the prologue, who we are as a people. There's a very special word called Sankofa. Sankofa is an African word that means to readdress ourselves to our original values that were neglected to slavery and all other forms of disrespect here in the West. For instance, we've been stolen. We spent 400 years in slavery. So now we don't know who we are. We don't know what tribe we're from. But if somebody take away your vehicle, there must be some way that you can get one back. Even if it's not the original vehicle you had, you got to get the vehicle back. That's how you move around. Everything in astrology is likened unto a vehicle. A way to move mentally, spiritually, metaphysically from one point to another within the mind, within the cosmos, within the reality of dealing people to people, man to man, God to man, man to God, humanity to the ancestors. So without further ado, let's get into it. Let's take a look at Western astrology. In Western astrology, some of you are called Aries. Aries is March 21 to April 19. When we look to our continent, we find a tribe there for you. It is out of Ghana. The tribe is Ashanti. So if you are Aries, we just know you as Ashanti. And what is the virtues of Ashanti? The mango is your fruit. That's your power fruit. That's your lucky fruit. Your birthstone is diamond. Wow. They said diamond is a girl's best friend. No, diamonds is the birthstone of we, the Ashanti people. Your lucky day or power day, a day when you can really get things done, is Tuesday. And your herb, your power herb is anise. A-N-I-S-E, anise. Anise is a herb that promotes peacefulness in your life. Now, if they call you Taurus, it means that you're born anywhere between April 20 and May 20. We liken you unto the Mandingo people. Mandingos can be found in many different counties, many different parts of Africa. So for Taurus, we call you Mandingo. The virtue of Mandingo is as follows. Your lucky fruit is the avocado pear. Avocado pear will do a whole lot for you. Your birthstone is an emerald, a beautiful stone. Few stones are as beautiful as the emerald. Your lucky day is Friday. And your lucky herb is wild cherry bark. The bark of the wild cherry tree. It is amazing. Excellent for singers and poets. Excellent for anyone who have to be a speaker, anyone who have to use their voice for long periods because it cleans and clear your voice box, your larynx. Hmm. Now, if you are called Gemini, we look to a most popular country called Nigeria. There's a tribe there for you because Gemini represents Yoruba. So if you're a Gemini, you can say, with all certainty, I am Yoruba. Gemini, which is Yoruba, is all those people born May 21 to June 21. Your power country is Nigeria. What is the virtues of Yoruba? Your lucky fruit is a guinea. 
Your birthstone is agate, A-G-A-T-E. Your lucky day or your day of power is Wednesday. And your lucky herb are two herbs, vervain, which is known in Jamaica as vervine, and another herb called skulkia. These two herbs promote mental balance. Why is guinep the fruit for Gemini? Because Gemini is a twin, and guinep have twins among them. Let's say that they say that you are Cancerian. Well, if you are, that's what they say. We say you are Fulani. The Fulani tribe comes out of Kenya. And we know that we, the people of Africa, al kabilan were stolen from all over the continent. The Fulani tribe, June 22 to July 21. But let's check the virtues of Fulani. Fulani virtues are your lucky fruit is papaya. Your birthstone is a pearl. Your lucky day is Monday. And your lucky herb is ginkgo or ginkgo biloba. It gives you absolute mental focus. If they say that you're a Leo, then the message is clear. Biblically, you can be found quickly. For you are indeed the lion or a lioness of Judah. So Leo is the tribe of Judah. And Judah, which is Leo, is all people born July 22 to August 21. The place most known for that tribe is Ethiopia. Indeed, every emperor of Ethiopia has been crowned lion of the tribe of Judah. This is important to note that the most powerful human beings to walk the face of the earth from time immemorial until this day are the people who are lions and lioness of Judah, the Leo people. You have seen the great Marcus Masaya Gerbi. You've seen the great Emperor Haile Selassie. You've seen Barack Obama. You've seen the great Fidel Castro. And there's so many more. As a matter of fact, the Bible is a history book of Leo kings, of Judah kings. The only king in the Bible that was not Judah was King Saul. And he was taken over by King David, who happens to be Judah. We even know too that even the great King Nebuchadnezzar, out of Babylon, out of Iraq, was also a Judah. King Solomon was Judah. Now think about that. Now let's go further. The virtues of Leo or Judah is clear. Your fruit, coconut, jelly coconut. Your birthstone, ruby, red, red, ruby. Your birth power stone is ruby, but to wear that ruby, on your special day, you could make things happen. Your special day is Sunday, and your special herb is king of the forest. Hey, you can plant it near your house, or in your yard, or keep it in flower pots on your veranda. 